colder when the other children are long asleep and the dead awaken. Hey everyone, Ominous Haunt here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the another Spirit Hunting sneak peek video, Angeline. Before we do begin, I would just like to say that if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel as it helps me out loads and it only takes a few seconds of your time and it is much appreciated. Thank you and now on with the video. So this prop is called Angeline and it appears to be a little girl holding a teddy bear which is creepy in itself and she is sat on top of a tombstone which I think is super cool. This prop is obviously reminds me of the Lonely Laura that was made by Techie Toys and sold at Party City uh, for the 2019 Halloween season. This is probably, this is like version 2 of Lonely Laura since it does have an upgraded face with mouth movement this time. Although this prop is very cool i have got to say the only downside i can really see with her is the tombstone appears to be really thin and i'm just worried about it perhaps toppling over but apart from that she looks really cool and super creepy and with that extra mouth movement i think she's in an excellent piece she's retailing for around 160 dollars which isn't a too bad price for what she is she's around four or five feet high which is pretty high and for her price i think that's fair since there is now mouth movement i think it is a pretty fair price although there is no light up eyes her head does turn once activated she is looking in a different direction and of course you can position her to whichever you like in your display or haunt and then once activated she will turn to face the person who activated her which i think is not nice touch instead of just being a static prop and yeah then then she will kick her legs like Lonely Laura did and say her spooky phrases. She has around three of them and I just think that is super cool and obviously creepy girl props are one of the fan favourite genres for Halloween prop. This girl surprisingly is not an online only prop and will be in stores this year which I think is super exciting and will also act as a stand standby prop in case um, one of the store displays sells out they will replace her place the the employees will replace the spot where that previous animatronic was with this one which I think is pretty nice she is one of my favorites this year but obviously because she reminds me of Lonely Laura and she was one of my favorite um, party city props of all time aside from the Pennywises of course and I just think that the creepy girl props are very cool other than that there's not too much else to say about her apart from the fact she's super creepy and I'm glad that she will be joining us in store for the Halloween 2020 season Thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy please consider subscribing to help me out loads and it only takes a second of time but it is much appreciated. Thank you and remember, I'm Ominous Haunter where it's never too early for Halloween. I love the cemetery, especially at midnight, when it's colder, when the other children are long asleep and the dead awaken. <laughs>